Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve a two-step inequality. Now, when we solve two-step inequalities, we want to isolate the variable, get it by itself on one side of the inequality. We do that by using inverse operations. So this is very similar to solving two-step equations. If you can solve an equation, you can solve an inequality. One thing that we need to be aware of though, when it comes to inequalities, remember, we flip the inequality symbol when multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative. Let's jump into our example where we have y divided by negative two plus five is greater than or equal to nine. Now here, just like we would do if this was a two-step equation, we want to undo the addition first. We go in the reverse order of operations to undo the operations and isolate the variable. So we need to undo the addition first and then the division here. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So let's subtract five from the left side of the inequality. Whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced. So subtract five from the right side as well. Now on the left side, these fives cancel each other out. So we have y divided by negative two is greater than or equal to, and then on the right, nine minus five, gives us four. So now we have y divided by negative two is greater than or equal to four. Now, since y is being divided by negative two, we need to undo that division using the inverse operation. That's multiplication. So let's multiply the left side by negative two. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So multiply the right side by negative two as well. Now remember, when we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative, the inequality symbol flips, it changes direction. So on the left, these negative twos cancel each other out. Y is now isolated, the inequality symbol flips, and then on the right, four times negative two gives us negative eight, so Y is less than or equal to negative eight. So y can be any value less than or equal to negative eight. Now, as far as that inequality symbol flipping, basically, as soon as we multiplied both sides by a negative, negative two for this example, that inequality symbol flips in order to keep the inequality true. Lastly, let's check this by plugging in a value that is less than or equal to negative eight for y and seeing if it works. So we can see if we are correct here. Let's use negative 10. That's less than negative eight. And since we are dividing by negative two, that will work nicely there. Then we have plus five is greater than or equal to nine. Negative 10 divided by negative two gives us five. And then five plus five gives us 10. 10 is greater than or equal to nine. So that does work. We are correct here. Y is less than or equal to negative eight. And then since Y can be equal to negative eight, let's try that as well. And we will do this mentally. So we have negative eight divided by negative two plus five. Negative eight divided by negative two gives us four. Four plus five gives us nine. And nine is greater than or equal to nine. So that works as well. So there you have it. There's how to solve a two-step inequality. Now that was just one example. I have a link to another example down in the description or if you want a few more examples, I have a longer video in the description as well. So use whatever works best for you. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.